Alright, so welcome to part 12 of this pond build. As you can probably hear behind me, the pond is filling up. So if I spin you around and show you where we are at, you can see here if the light's alright. The water is finally going into the pond. And we are actually uh, fairly filled up at the moment. We're about a third of the way probably uh, from the bottom so far. And what I've been doing uh, is I've been filling it up a little bit in the uh, evenings after work and then I've been putting a bit of tape on the water line and then checking the next day that the water hasn't dropped uh, on the bottom drain just to check that was all sealed up alright and that seems to be okay so um, I've now got the weekend off, it's Friday uh, Friday morning, I've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday so the plan is to get it filled up today check for any leaks get the whole system running, leave it running overnight, and then if we've got no leaks, everything seems to be all right, the water hasn't dropped, um, then we'll um, get the dechlorinator and um, all that in there. I'll show you what I've got there. And we'll get um, the fish over as well, probably as well, straight away, because there's no point really waiting. Uh, the old thing was let the water mature and all that, but it's not gonna mature um, without fish in there anyway. The filters aren't gonna mature. They need the fish waste to be going through the system, to be going through the ammonia cycle anyway. So uh, we're gonna get the fish over here, um, as long as the parameters are the same as the old pond anyway, and we'll float the fish and get them in. So, yep, the water's going in there now. We've got it going for a water meter. Um, so you can see, I don't know if that will focus on there, um, so we can see the exact um, volume of the pond, so it will make treating it in the future a lot easier, knowing the exact literage. Um, so yeah, things are looking good so far, no leaks that I can tell so far. It's now about to get up to um, the 4 inch valve on the bottom drain. Uh, so then we'll check that's okay and then it'll soon be up to the return line so we can check the rest of the pipe work isn't leaking so yep yeah, that's it for now and I'll catch you uh, later on once it's filled up a little more all right so things are going quite well now and um, we're getting there uh, I think we're about 8,000 odd liters now and we're up above the glass above the returns and the pipe work all seems to be okay so far I've got no leaks uh, as it stands with just the water sat there so uh, hopefully uh, once it gets fully filled up and we get the pumps on it will stay the same so I'll just spin you around because we're now up above the glass so as you can see there we've got the water nicely above the glass still coming in there um, let's see if we can see some of the returns we've got one down in this corner and you can just about make out the one over that corner so we're well and truly above it we're still coming in nicely if we have a look at where we are water-wise, uh, yeah, we're about eight and a half thousand, something like that. Um, yeah, starting to look really good. Um, really happy. We don't appear to have any leaks anywhere on the pipe whites yet. Everything seems to be uh, nice and solid. We can just about make the water coming up inside the nexus. Um, so yeah, really happy so far. We keep the water going in and um, we'll talk to you in a little while once we get up near the skimmer height. Alright, so things are getting there now. We're well over 10,000 litres into the pond now. Um, so if I just show you where we're up to, we're well over halfway up the water, uh, window level. Um, we're still coming in nicely. Everything still seems to be okay at the moment. We're not quite up to the skimmer level just yet. We are getting there slowly, but we have now got to the gravity point where we are trickling into the filter. So as you can see, the easy section is nearly filled up and we're coming up gravity into the filter and uh, that'll soon be nice and full and that'll be ready to uh, flip the pumps on before long at some point. So. Um, yeah, once it's up to that skimmer level, I think we'll be able to run everything and see uh, if we've got any leaks anywhere. But so far, so good. All the pipe work seems to be okay. Don't seem to be having any leaks, which is uh, an absolute bonus. I was expecting to see a few somewhere, but nothing as of yet. But um, you never know. We're not uh, out of the woods just yet. So I'll just spin you around and get a good view here. And you can see now... When we're sat inside looking at the uh, conservatory, it's going to be uh, really, really nice. 
So yeah, really made up with that. Um, gonna carry on filling up and uh, I'll talk to you later on. Hopefully before it gets dark, we'll get the water in here. If not, it'll be stopped and uh, we go again tomorrow morning to get the last bit in here. All right, so it's the next day and the pond is all filled up, as you can see behind me. Uh, I've had a tape line on the window all night and the water hasn't budged a bit, so I've got zero leaks, so everything's gone all right. Uh, so I'm really made up with that. So today we're going to move the fish over. Uh, we might as well get them in there. I've treated the water uh, with some fish protect from Colombo, which is like a dechlorinator and helps with uh, stress of fish. So um, that's been in there for a few hours now, so that should have got rid of all the chlorine. Um, I put in a little bit of sodium fire sulfate as well, which is a dechlorinator, just to make sure it's all sorted. Got no chlorine readings. So if I spin you around and show you what we look like now, and as you can see there on the window, it's nicely filled up. Um, the total volume was 12,600 litres. Um, so that's a nice nice volume we've got there of water. Uh, should really uh, help with the fish to grow. The uh, air is off on the Nexus at the moment. I've just moved the old media over from the old pond and the old K1 into the filter. Um, and I'm about to put in some uh, filter gel starter for when I move the fish so it's off just for that to settle in which I haven't put in yet you can see the water's flowing through quite nicely um, it does turn over fairly well when we put the water on it's a 120 litre pump on there um, so if I spin you around uh, at the moment I've just got the skimmer line just coming for a pipe just onto a return uh, just to oxygenate the water a bit um, and to have that skimmer line running so yeah, it's looking really nice. You can see how clear it is. You can see the bottom drain cover in the middle there. Kind of wish that was a uh, dark black colour, but there we are. That's the colour that JBR Plastics make them. Um, I might look and swap it at some point if it doesn't algae up. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice flow rate uh, going around. You can see the water moving around all the corners nicely. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. So uh, now I'm going to start bringing the fish out, measuring them and moving them over one by one. So um, I'll try and get some shots of them going into the pond for the first time. And then I'll uh, talk to you once they're all in there, fingers crossed. Right, so the fish are all in, that went really well. They've grown a bit over the summer as well, so that's quite impressive, but yeah, they're all in behind me now. They're staying sunken down to the bottom, and they look absolutely tiny in this pond, but um, the biggest is over 40 now. Um, so yeah, they're getting there. They're staying around in a group. A couple of them are splitting off, but they seem to be uh, enjoying their new home so far. Um, so yeah, that's it for now. Um, until we start doing the outside of the pond and cladding the top, and sorting out with the eight side um, and then we'll do another update on that and then I'm sure there'll be a few as we get a few nicer bigger fish as well over the coming year so yeah absolutely made up with it um, it took a long time to get to this point but I'm um, really buzzing we've got there in the end so uh, thanks for watching um, keep an eye out for the next update um, click like and subscribe to get the notifications when it comes out and yeah I'll uh, catch you later